I'm literally so freaking tired. I can't open my eyes yet. I'm at that phase where you just wake up and your eyes are like glued shut. It's literally 7.52 and I have a workout class at... Oh my god, we slayed! Oh my god, we slayed! I thought my workout class was at 8.30. It's at 9.30. We have an extra hour, so I'm gonna go back to sleep for 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm having a cup of my greens in water so thank you bloom for sponsoring the video this is actually so good and I know that you guys know I usually have greens every single day in smoothies it has so many supplements it has fibers super greens blends with like a whole bunch of different greens it's got pre and probiotics it's got fruit and vegetable blends it's got antioxidant beauty blends it's got digestive enzyme blends oh my god it literally has everything that you could ask for and you know what beauty it starts from within so we're taking care of our inner digestive system today mm, it's so good let's go pick out an outfit for today and wash my face because we have like 10 minutes before i have to leave i love having my greens every morning and it works better when i use it daily moisturizer is one of my favorites and you guys know I have really dry skin so that is an actual good recommendation sunscreen but I am gonna use a tinted sunscreen this is the set that I'm wearing today it is a onesie from 437 and it's so cute so I'm excited to wear this Honestly, I feel like if I don't get my workout in the morning, it's not happening during the rest of the day, so it just has to happen first thing. I am back home. Behind me is super messy and crazy and scary, and the reason for that is because I have been filming all today, all yesterday, but it is 11 a.m. right now. I know that technically as a morning routine, you guys are gonna be like, girl, that's midday. But for me, I feel like all my days start at like 8 a.m. and I do my little skincare, I go to the gym, and then I come back, and then I just get myself situated, have breakfast, I usually eat at like 12, and then after that is when my day, I feel like, truly starts. So now that we're back home, I just had that smoothie that was amazing, I feel like that's gonna hold me over for just like a little bit I think I have some calls to do and I just want to like set up kind of my work day because today's a really busy day I have to film a podcast I have to film a sponsorship and I have to pack oh my gosh I have to pack for my trip that's literally tonight which is so stressed so I have a lot to do I also have an event today at 1 30 so I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna show you guys a quick little makeup routine because I have nailed my makeup routine and if you guys want to use this for your mornings I feel like that will give you some inspiration and some help
breakfast. I'm pretty hungry, so I've got two eggs here. And you guys saw me buy all these. I got some baby spinach, I got some grape tomatoes, and I got a pepper. So I'm going to cut everything up, whisk it up in a bowl, and do a little scramble egg type thing. I'll be able to put some like Cholula or spicy and ketchup sauce on it. While I'm cooking up, I'm gonna play some music and I'm gonna do oil pulling because there's so many benefits for it. I've talked about it in so many videos. I love doing it. I usually like doing it while I'm doing something else because it takes 15 minutes. This is also the perfect prep because I'm going to Costa Rica tonight and I wanna get any last little beauty regimens in and this does help with teeth whitening supposedly, so. Know it's gonna taste good. I am in fact sitting on the floor in my living room, but to be honest, there's clothes all over my table and I usually eat like anywhere. I love having the door open, I can just hear the people outside, the clouds, whatever. Anyways, let's take a first bite. I just put some Cholula hot sauce and I'm gonna use some ketchup. It looks so freaking good and colorful. It's so freaking good. If you want to make this, I suggest, just as I showed, put the peppers and the tomatoes and the onions first so that they're fully sauteed and soft and then add the egg. Do that for a little bit and then add the spinach so that it all keeps its color and none of it goes like too long on the stove because otherwise it will turn like a grayish color and it's very much not aesthetic. It just looks kind of unappetizing too. So this is the way to go. It's so healthy. It tastes good. It's colorful. We got our protein. We got our veggies. I'm a fan. You can also add whatever vegetables you want. makeup routine. A little facial oil that I'm using right now is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil and I'm just doing a quick little makeup routine because I actually have a very exciting event today. It is Florence by Mills, which is Millie Bobby Brown's I think it's a skincare line. She has a collaboration with London Drugs, which is a drugstore here in Vancouver and they're having a dinner, which is so exciting. I don't know who's gonna be there, but I'm just like really stressed because I actually have to be there in 15 minutes and I look like this. So obviously that's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna give myself max like 20 minutes to do my makeup. I might do a little voiceover so I can show you guys what products I'm using. Okay, so the first thing that I do is use primer. I'm obsessed with this Milk Makeup one. And then after that, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is such a good base. It makes your skin so glowy. And then I follow that up with my foundation, which is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Recently, I've been loving blending out my foundation with a brush and also applying contour and blush before my concealer. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Wands and just this random one that I found here. I make sure to use setting spray in between all my steps and then after that, I'm going in with concealer and I'm using a small brush. I got this one from Sephora and then I press it all in with a beauty blender. Recently, I've been loving this makeup by Mario Contour. Then I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. After that, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Free this is so good and it makes your eyebrows look like they're laminated. I applied some extra bronzer from MAC and then I'm using the telescopic mascara. It's not the waterproof one, but I do have a lash lift, so that's why they look so curly already. I've also been absolutely loving this Kylie Cosmetics lipstick. Okay, I'm doing my makeup in a really weird order here, but after that I'm using the Anastasia Brow Pen and this with the Brow Freeze go really well together. I'm also using a highlighter from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Accelerate and it's so good. And then I'm also using a bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury for some eyeshadow and then 
then I just finish it off with setting spray and then if anything I add extra lip gloss or lip liner. I'm also wearing a black eyeliner but I just did this with a random one that I had. Okay the makeup is done. We gotta get going. I might do one more spritz of my setting spray but once my face is like fully dry because I feel like my mascara my everything is just still wet but this is the final makeup look. This is what I've been doing every single day recently. I've got my black hair tie here. I'm gonna use some hairspray. This is just the Chi hairspray honestly. Any of them work. I always make sure my middle part is super straight. Mm -hmm. The other absolute essential that I love for putting my hair up is this hair wax stick. This is from Amazon and it's honestly a game changer. But the Anastasia like brow freeze is even better. That's why I use that one on my sides. And I love using these. <laughs> As of recent, I've been obsessed with wearing jewelry. I look like a little egg right now, but anyways, I just have these gold earrings from Amazon. I have this necklace that I'm constantly asked questions on, and it's from Oakenfort. Some recent faves of mine. This ring that I bought, I'll have the name on the screen because I honestly don't remember. And I also bought these super cute bracelets from there. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They look like this, and they're from the same store, but again, I don't really remember the name of it. I'm gonna look really put together today because I'm gonna wear like a little black and white set that I just recently bought, but it's gonna be so cute. I'm really excited to wear it for the event. The other ring I'm gonna wear is this one. This is my Dior ring, which is super fancy, but I bought it when I was in LA with my mom, which is very cute and meaningful to me. So anyways, the hair is done. Low key, it's a little bit messy in the back, but I'm gonna deal with it. Let me change into the outfit and I will be right back. How do I look? I am obsessed with this outfit. My top is from Oakenfort. My shorts are from Club Monaco. My bag is from Steve Madden. And this is the vibe. I'm obsessed. She's giving class. She's giving sophisticated. She's giving grown woman. But she's also giving cute. And I'm going to wear some docks so it's not going to be too aggressively fancy. But I'm honestly obsessed with it. I am going to put some lotion on my legs so I don't look dry. I'm going to use this one from Bath and Body Works, which is called Into the Night. And that definitely isn't what's happening right now, considering this is a morning routine. But we just need to make sure that we're soft and we're not ashy. And I'm also going to put some perfume. I'm going to get my bag together. I'm obsessed. Tell me this isn't the cutest look ever. I love it. Okay, you guys, and that concludes my morning routine. I'm getting ready to go. I'm starting off my day, even though we kind of been starting it. But anyways, you know what I mean. We're really getting into it. I'm definitely gonna vlog this event that I'm going to, but it's gonna be in the next Summer Diaries episode, so make sure you're subscribed for that. Also, thank you so much to Bloom for sponsoring this video, and make sure you comment this emoji down below if you made it till the end. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below, and subscribe if you're not already, because I love you guys, and I love making videos, and I'm gonna be in Costa Rica by the time I be posting this, so I love you.